Welcome, everyone, to an America East chat. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by Clarence Daniels from UNH. And uh, look, the junior transfer from Lake Region State College has made a major impact, not just at UNH, but in the America East. This year, only player in the America East that is averaging a double-double at 15, fourth best in the league, and a league best 10.9 rebounds. What has made this transition pretty smooth for you? I believe it was a a lot of preparation that I put into uh, getting here prior before I got here. I worked really hard in the summertime, but with that being said, you know, when I was here, you know, the coaching staff, Bill Harry and Chris Moore, uh, Ryan here, they all pushed me, they pushed us to be better players. And they really just got that out of me and just brought it to a whole nother level. And look, lately the defense has been phenomenal, basically allowing a league low, 65.8 points per game. What do you attribute that to? Practice. Coach is always on us. Like, we, we are a defense-oriented team. Like, one thing he tells us is that offense, like, offense is always unpredictable. You never know what you're going to shoot from the floor. Like, you just don't know. Like, every night, it's something different. But defense is something that you always got to rely on. And he's very defense-oriented and emphasizes defense every single day. So, shout out to us and coaches for that. Look, you had 34 and 14 in that win over BC earlier this season, a major breakthrough outing for you at the division one level this past week, you were the American East player of the week with 17 and 15. Those were your averages in wins over Albany and UMass Lowell team. They're going to have to face later. Obviously Lowell and Vermont are two of the favorites in this league with Bryant. You got Bryant coming up. This team's picked seventh in the preseason coaches poll, 10 and 10 overall, but that doesn't matter. You guys are five and three through eight games in the America East. That's the better number, the more important number right now with only one returning player from last season. Wasn't you, you were a transfer. How do you explain the way this team has come together and is really in the thick of this race? Um, one thing that I noticed with us, as soon as we all got together in the summertime, I just felt like we had like a really tight bond. And I think it was just because like, you know, we all came from different situations wanting something. So we kind of related in that sense. And we just, we were tight from the first day we met each other. And I believe our chemistry that way has really helped us stick together because we had like a really low stretch throughout the beginning of the year, but we just stuck together and, you know, we stuck to our principles and what coach tells us and we're figuring it out right now. We're, we're on a roll right now. We're going to keep going. Yeah. It'd be historic if UNH could be, you know, a champion of the America East, get an AQ to the NCAA tournament. Um, a lot of real estate to cover still. This is a marathon, yeah. not a sprint. Uh, but, you know, you've already knocked off Lowell one time. To beat and compete with the elite teams in this league, what are one or two things that must happen down the stretch? I think we just got to continue to play UNH basketball. And that's what we've been doing, you know, locking teams up. That's what, that's what we do. When we lock teams up and we get the rebound and we're uh, going in transition, we're a very hard team to guard. We're also versatile. Like any of us from top to bottom can score the ball at multiple different levels. So we're excited. We're, we're excited to keep going and keep pushing. And, and lastly, Clarence, for you to continue that scoring, as I said, no one expects you to go 21 and 11 like you did in JC, but you're at 15 and 10, a double, double machine. What do you have to do to stay consistent like that? I believe it's uh it has something to do with me, but my teammates, they really do a good job at finding me the ball and putting me in spots and positions for me to be successful. And for the rebounding part, I just got to keep rebounding. It's a, it's an effort thing. Coach always tells me it's, it's effort. How bad do you want the rebound? So as long as I keep that motor and that effort going and my teammates continue to set me up and put me in good positions, everything's going to keep going. Awesome. What a great start for you. Keep it going. Hopefully we're going to be talking about UNH in a month's time. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me.